Hello, 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 Guille, Diana. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, Roberto. Good to he good to see you again. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. You? Good, good, good. Been having some problems with my internet, so hopefully we don't have we don't get that many problems today. I hope. How's everybody doing? Uh, uh, fine, thank, thank you, teacher. Nice, nice okay. to hear. Okay, all right. That's also good to hear. Welcome to Monday. Okay, all Mondays become a little bit hard sometimes. Yes. Let me see, let me fix a little bit. All right, all right. Happy Monday, everybody. Let's see here. So we are going to day number one of week number three. Nice. Time has just gone so fast, guys. It is. We're gonna give the rest of the class a couple of minutes before we get started. And so let me ask you guys. A ver, Roberto, how was your weekend? Very good, very good. Nice, nice uh, to hear. I passed with, with my family and I hang out with friends. Very good. That's nice to hear. Good to hear. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Robert. Diana, how was your weekend? It was okay. I visited my family in San Salvador. So we have to do the trip. And yesterday, we'll come back to San Miguel. I'm from San Miguel. Oh, nice. That's nice. That's uh, what, <laughs> what Was it hot in San Miguel? Well, it's always hot, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always hot. Okay. Every day is hot. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you for sharing. Guille, how was your weekend? Uh, very well, teacher. Uh, I was here at home the whole weekend. I just... I went to the supermarket and I do some errands in the morning. And then I, I was here and, uh, all the right. whole day. Nice to hear. Basically in the, in the afternoon I was at home watching, okay. uh, watching some movies and series. Well, that, that's yeah, it. that sounds, that sounds pretty nice, right? Yes, right. All right. Mario, hello, my friend. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good, good. Good, good. That's great to hear. All righty. Good to see you here. Ivan, good to see you. Melissa. Hello, teacher. How are you hello, doing? Hello, hello. Oh, you know, I feel like a million dollars. Wow. That's mm -hmm. good. Nice and heavy. Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. All right. I think we have enough. We have enough to start. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but we said we're the, uh, this week, which is week number three and week number four, we were going to start um, mixing it up a little bit. And uh, we wanted to incorporate a few more things. Uh, for example... Uh, we mentioned that we were going to be using the live work sheets. That was the number one. Uh, we said we we're going to use some PowerPoint presentations. We were also going to uh, use the breakout rooms. Breakout rooms. 
Now, with the breakout rooms, I think we're only going to use them like maybe once within a certain amount of time. And let me tell you the reason behind that. Um, they told me that, I don't know if you guys have noticed that not every teacher uses the breakout rooms. That's because when you use the breakout rooms, it stops recording. Zoom does not record. And so that makes it a little bit of a challenge for us because we have to give as close to the hour for the class as possible. And so every time we do a breakout room, there's a few minutes that go missing, right? And so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to use the breakout rooms, but we're gonna try to not affect our overall hour. And, you know, that way, you know, we get full credit for the, for the class itself or for the full hour or as close to the hour as possible. So keep that in mind. We might end up having to do the breakout rooms maybe once uh, per class, okay? So live worksheets, PowerPoint, breakout rooms, and of course, of course, of course, um, we still get to use our platform, right? Now we do use the platform a little bit less than what we're accustomed to, but we still get to use it and we still get to watch it because I want you guys to be aware of what's going on with the platform. As a reminder, I believe they sent today on the WhatsApp that February 10th, what's happening on February 10th? It's the limit, the deadline for, for us to send the documents. The deadline for the documents. That is correct. Thank you, Ivan. Please, please don't forget to do that. All right. All right, guys. So let's quickly begin by, by, by doing the first things and, the, you know, what I like to do when we first start off, which is the platform. Let me go ahead and share that with you. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to share the platform. Uh, we're going to share it with the sound just to make sure that it does happen. And there you go. Can you guys see the web page for the platform? Yes. Yes. All right. Beautiful. Okay. So this is the one that I asked. You know, I always use the same one. Well, we all, I think we all use the same one. Start and I already have it kind of saved up here. And let me make it a little bit. And here we go. intermediate and so far we have two check marks for section one and two and so here's the question how are you guys doing with the how are you guys doing with the sections have you guys completed section one hello hello glenda hello hello nesty paco bienvenido Good night. Thank Good you, evening. Teacher. Sorry. Thank you. Good evening. There we go. There we go. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, sections one. Did everybody have a chance to complete them? Yes, I did. Yes. 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 Okay. Section number two. How are we doing? I did it. Everybody I did okay? It I completed. I also did it. Okay, please remember that if you guys need help with any other sections, please post it on, on our WhatsApp group. Eh, creo que hemos estado brindando la ayuda. Si no contesto yo, me van a disculpar. If I don't answer, don't think that it's because I can, you know, I don't want to do it. Um, the thing is that I am at work from about 7 in the morning to about 6 p.m. So I can, I can look at my phone, but I, can, I cannot answer because I have to go into the website and I have to, you know, take pictures and I can't do that where, you know, how, I, how I'm working right now. Um, I usually, I am able to go into the WhatsApp after 6 p.m. and then kind of moving forward from there. But I have noticed that our teammates, our classmates, they answer. And you guys have been answering very, very good. And you guys have been very, very helpful. So, you know, two thumbs up for you guys. Please keep it up. Um, okay. So section one, section two, we left off in section number three. And so remember that we're doing just a little bit on 
this exercises and then we're gonna move out of these. Um, I believe, let me see here, how did you like that? Let me go back into 3.6, which was the videos with the sections, awful, disgusting. I think there was some words that we used. Let me click on next. And we were able to do, how did you like it? The listening exercise, we did that, we did that one. Uh, we were able to go into the relative clauses. And do, does anybody remember the relative clauses that were used here? No. Which? Which? That. Okay. That. Oh. Which was the, the, what was the other one? Oh. Who? Okay. When do we use who for who? <laughs> Sorry about that. For people. When is who used? That is correct. We use who for people. When do we use that? For things. For things and there we go, there we go. Or we can use it for people. And which? Only for things. things. Only for things. Okay. What's the difference between just and only? Only like that. And then the only word that you, what's the other one? Just? Mm -hmm. Just would be the equivalent to, in Spanish, como cuando uno dice justito or cabalito, right? Mm. But only actually means one. So let's say you're the only person here. Tú eres la única persona aquí. You are the only person here. And you wouldn't be able to use, you wouldn't be able to use just for something like that. The word just, you can use it, for example, if you're running to catch the bus and you catch it, right? You could say you just caught the bus. You can also use it, for example, if somebody says, I'm running for the bus. And, and when you got there, the bus started off and left. You can also use it there and you can say, you just missed the bus. You just missed the bus. You, you either just caught it or you just missed it. Es como decir cabalito, right? For us in Spanish. Yeah. But I mean, you know, all right. So we did, so we did. Glenda, what Glenda? About the, excuse me, what about the phrase, the phrase, uh, just do it. Ah, just do it. You could do it. Like, you could use that. You could use it like that. Solo hacelo. Just do okay. it. You could use it like that. That's another way of using just. Yes, ma'am. That will work. Como, como Michael Jordan, va? Just do it. All right. I liked it. All right. So with this section, the relative clauses, uh, let me see. I don't think we needed to go over anything here. Uh, we can use the live worksheets though as an exercise. Uh, main clause, relative clause, who? Oh, we didn't use that one. Did we use that? Did we use? It? Yeah, we did. Who? Who that and which that? So we got them. Okay. So we can use the live worksheets. Let's go ahead and incorporate the live worksheets for this exercise. And let me go ahead and let me see here. Let me stop sharing for a little bit. There was a discussion where they gave you a couple of exercises at the end for section 3.9. Let me go ahead and go back and share that one again. You see that one? 
Yes. And it says Brad Pitt is an actor and Gladiator is a movie. And then, so they asked you for something specifically. Did, did any of you guys write in the bottom section? I think I did. Did you, did you? I All did. right. All right. So now some of these that are here, uh, let me see. Let me see the first one. It says, Brad Pitt is an actor who acting in Troy movie. Gladiator is a movie which star Russell Crowe. So here, there's a couple of things that are missing. We need to make this one a little bit better before we move into that. So let me let me see. Who can notice with the first one, what is it that we need? What do we need to do? Brad Pitt is an actor, they say. Brad. Ah, there we go. Brad Pitt is an actor. And then it goes blank, right? And so what we want to put is acts in Troy movie. Yes. In Troy movie. Mm -hmm. Try to read that out. Brad Pitt is an actor who on. acts on, on. on. Mm. or in. Yeah, you know what? Brad Pitt. is an actor who acts in the movie Troy. All right. And so who can tell me why we had to switch that? Or could we have left it in the movie, Troy? You know, we could have left it like that too. Now, the, imp the important portion was act. We can't use acting because it, it is not happening right now. He is an actor. Brad Pitt is an actor who acts in the movie Troy. Mm. I don't know. It's not, you know. I'm thinking that Brad Pitt is an actor. Hmm? Have an example. Gia, shoot it. Do you want to write it on the chat and I'll read it out? Or do you want to say it? Uh, the, the sentences that you already wrote. Okay. Read, uh, do you want me to, to say it? Yeah, yeah, if you want, yeah. Brad Pitt is an actor who acts in the movie Troy. Well, it doesn't sound, you know, it sounds pretty good. Brad Pitt is an actor. You know, somebody out. Uh, yeah, what, what, what's up, Guy? Talk to me. Oh, uh, okay. I, I was thinking that it was upside down because uh, I, I thought that it was, I thought that I was better to say in the Troy movie, but I don't, I don't know. I, I just, I just got confused. How do okay. You... Well, you know, Brad Pitt is an actor. What we're looking for is the explanation, right? The who. Who acts? Brad Pitt is an actor who we can say acted. You can say acts as well, depending on what you're going to say. So, 
both of them sound okay. Uh, both of them sound good. Uh, Brad Pitt is an actor who acts in the movie Troy. You can say that, right? Uh, Brad Pitt is an actor who acted in the Troy movie. Yeah, that one sounds okay as well. What we're really looking for is for you guys to use the word who. Brad Pitt is an actor, and then we can go who, and we could say, we can also put played. What's the name of the movie? What, well, Troy is the name of the movie, and he was, he played the part of, do you guys remember the name of the character? Um, Troy is the character, the name of the character is Achilles. Uh, Achilles. 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 All right. Excuse me if I don't know how to spell Achilles, but <laughs> Brad Pitt is an actor who played Achilles in the movie Troy. There we go. So that is another way of saying it. So um, I would say that all three are good examples of what you can say. Brad Pitt is an actor who acts in a movie, Troy. Brad Pitt is an actor who acts in the movie, Troy. I think we, we had already used it. Ready to work? Go on. Glenn? <laughs> Brad Pitt is an actor who played Achilles in the movie, Troy. That is something that we also can use. It's a little bit more wordy, but it will also give us enough uh, time to use who. So let's try to use those. Let's try to use Brad Pitt as an actor who has filmed lots of pretty good movies. You can say that. Yeah, Paco. Who has filmed. Uh, in this particular case, you could say lots, but you could also say a lot. Okay. Brad Pitt is an actor who has filmed a lot of pretty good movies. A lot of pretty good movies. So yeah, those are oh, good. Okay. Okay. That's a good way of saying it. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's let's see. Let's go in here and let me pull this one out. And let me switch it over. Let me switch it real quick. And so these are called uh, relative clauses. Let me see. I have it here. Life worksheets and relative clause. Here they are. Can you guys see my screen or can you just see the platform? Just the platform. Just the platform. Okay, let me go ahead and switch that around. All right, and so this one here How about now? Yep. Okay. So here are the examples. And they, these are called life worksheets. And I don't know if I gave you guys the website for this one. Let me go ahead and put it here so that you guys can also do it on your free time. Lifeworksheets.com. That's what it's called. Now, what I like is that we can't look at the answer. There's no way to cheat. What you can do is you can go in there and you can click and then try to find out, you know, if you don't know, you can try to guess it, right? If you do know, it makes it a little bit easier for you. Okay, so here we go. We have who, we have whose, we have which, and we have that. Okay. Let me go ahead and move it up a little bit. And here we go. And so we have 12 different problems. Okay, we're going to do the first one as a team, and then I'm going to ask you guys independently. Now, you're gonna have, you are going to have to do two things. You are going to have to read, and you are going to find the answer and use it. Okay? So, for example, number one, and this one, remember, we, we can do this one as a team. Do you know the woman blank is talking to the teacher? And so you only have four choices, who, whose, which, and that. 
And then you have the explanation. Who is used to refer to people or animals? It can be omitted if it is the subject of the relative clause. For example, the girl who lives next door is very clever, right? And then so we use who. Whose is used to refer to a possession. It refers to people or things. It can never be omitted. Paul, whose dad is a doctor, is living in Berlin now. Ahí está whose, and it's a possession. Uh, which is used for things, never for people. It can be omitted when it is not the subject of a relative clause. I lost my money, which my mom gave me, is the example. And that, that can be used for people and things. The man that is waiting at the bus stop is in my friend. Mm -mm -mm. I've just repaired the chair that you are using now. And so these are the examples. So based on these four examples, which one do you think goes here in number one? Who? Who? A ver, let's read. Do you know the woman who is talking to the teacher? How does that sound? Good. Good? All right, all right. Let's find out, let's see, let's see. We're gonna click on this one now. You know, we do this one just for show, but it, you know, it sends you the answers and it tells you the answers right away. So hopefully we can see those and we got it. All right, all right. We're gonna refresh and we have number one is correct. All right, so now we're gonna go to number two. I want you guys to look at the sentence I want you guys to tell me what to put, and then we're gonna read it. A ver, we're gonna start from the very top. I have, at the very top, I have Paco and Guille. So Paco, Paco, you're on my, let me see, you're on my right side of the screen. You get number two. Okay, let me see. Oh, picture. That Picasso paints are very valuable. And we said that. All the pictures, sorry about that uh, typo right there. Thank you, Paco, for all the pictures that Picasso painted are very valuable. Can you do me a favor, Paco? Can you read that with the, with the, with the word that's already in there again? One more time. All the pictures that Picasso painted are very valuable. Okay, okay. All right. That sounds sounds good. Did you did you listen? Because I have been I am having a little problem with the connection. Oh, but no, we, we were able to hear. Yes, Paco, we were able to hear you. Thank you for that. Okay. All right, Guy. Thank you. Guy, number three. The uh, flight. The flight. Uh, the flight which my friend it took was very slow. Mm. What do you think about that? The flight which my friend took was very slow. Mm, the flight that my. You want to change yeah. it? You want to change it to that? Let's read that one. Let's see how it sounds. And tell me which one sounds a little bit better. I think that that is, is better than. The flight that my that friend my took friend too was very slow. All right. All right. Do you want to leave it like that? Yes. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, Diana. Diana, you get number four. Um, uh, which, I think. Which? All right, let's try it out. Let's see. Let's try reading that. Oh, oh, oh. I think maybe it's who's. Who's? I don't, I don't know the name of the students whose grandparents are that. I think it's who's. Who's. All right. Okay. Do you want to leave it as who's? Um, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Let's see how it sounds, right? I don't know the name of the student whose grandparents are Italian. 
Okay. Well, who's all right? All right. Number five. Number five. Roberto. Tocayo. Yes, teacher. She uh, didn't we, like the letter. I think that is uh, wish. Which. Wish. She, she received last week. She didn't like the letter which she received last week. Yes. Okay. All right. Mario. Mario, mi amigo. How are we doing? A ver. A ver, let's, let's switch over to Ivan. Ivan, number number six. Me see, the woman was wearing some strange clothes, which look very expensive. Which looked very expensive. That woman was wearing some strange clothes, which looked very expensive. Hmm. All right. You feel good with that, Ivan? I believe because All at right. the at the end changes the 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 subject to the clothes. Okay. All right. All right. Number seven, Melissa. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, the wallet. What mean wallet? Sorry. La cartera. Oh, thank you. Uh, the wallet which which my son found is the street belong to Martha. The wallet which my son found in the street belonged to Martha. Martha, la mamá de Batman, la mamá de Superman, y ahora la dueña de la cartera. All right. Okay. All right, Melissa. Thank you. Nasty, number eight. You can only choose who, who's, which, and that. Yes, um, that. that. The vegetable that you're eating now are from the best supermarket in town. The vegetables that, okay, all right. Number nine goes to Glenda. Number nine. Number nine. Hey. Hey, Margaret gave me a big box. Um, that contains some interesting leaflets. That contain some interesting leaflets. Yes. Esto, estos son los, eh, los leaflets, son las cosas que se dan en la calle, que te dan como cuponcitos, los papelitos. Uh -huh. So, so yes. all right, leaflets. Leaflets. Number 10, number 10, Miriam. Who, teacher? Number, number 10? Who? Who? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. That's who. Yo, Miriam, you. That's you. I'm so sorry. The athlete who won the competition was really good and handsome. Ah, el teacher. Ha de haber sido el teacher. Okay. Okay. We got it. We got it. And then so we can do 11 and 12 as a team. My uncle bought a house. Blank was built a hundred years ago. Which? Which? Does everybody agree with which? My oh. uncle bought a house which was built a hundred years ago. How does that sound? Who's? I think so. It's who? Who's? My uncle bought a house whose was built a hundred years ago. Mm, creo que who's that, en este caso no se puede ocupar. That was will. That, let's try, let's see. My uncle bought a house that was built a hundred years ago. Okay. Mm. That one sounds, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Does everybody agree? As a team, we agree. <laughs> okay. Jonathan is a policeman. Blank, son wants to be an astronaut. Uh, 
Ahora sí, Nessie, creo que aquí sí, aquí sí se puede ocupar. Yes, I think so. It's a who's. Who's. There we go, right? The policeman is the dad, and so that's my son. Who's. Yes, sir. I have a question with this sentence. Yes, Guillaume. Uh, who's, uh, uh, I don't, I, I am not very familiar with, with the use of who's, but mm -hmm. um, the son is, is the son John, Jonathan or? No, 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 Jonathan is the policeman, he's the dad. Yes, and who's, uh, is connecting to, to, to the son to, to create the sentence. Right, so the son belongs to who? Whose son are we talking about? Jonathan is, for example, Jonathan uh, becomes the father. That is correct, yes, sir. So Jonathan is the dad and he's also a policeman. Okay. And so, the son, the son belongs to the policeman in this case. Yes, belongs to the policeman because uh, he is, uh, he is, uh, he is his son. Right, right. And um, so that that's why you are able to use whose, uh, because you are showing possession. Okay, in this case, Paul um, and and the. the the, the, the part that is above with mm -hmm. the sample Paul, whose dad is a doctor. Let me see, Paul, whose dad is a doctor, all the way up. There we go, yeah, okay. So Paul, whose dad is a doctor, is living in Berlin now. So now, they don't mention the dad's name. Only the, the son's name. Oh, only the son's name. And, and the son's name is Paul. Paul. Right? Dad is a dad. And, oh, okay. and he belongs to his dad. Well, you know, we get really possessive when it comes to sons and daughters, right? So that's why we use it like that. Okay, I understand. Thank you very much okay. for the explanation. All right. Now, whose doesn't necessarily have to be uh, just people. Uh, you can say things like, Whose apple is this? Whose apple? Um, whose shoes? Uh, whose dog is this? And you, you, you can, you can use it in a variety of forms. You can use it for things, and you can use it for people. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So let let's see. How do you guys feel about the answers on the live worksheets? Are there any words here? That that you guys maybe haven't heard or slow or, or or you guys haven't heard before or maybe you guys have heard them but you guys weren't really sure. Any words here that catch your attention? Oh, they're all nor normal words. You guys, oh, I heard those before. It's okay, teacher. Don't worry about it. Everybody good? Yes. Okay, all right. So one thing that you guys are gonna hear is um, the Italians. We say Italian because we're you know, we accustomed to using the I. But some people say Italians. Uh, either way is okay. Uh, remember, you're supposed to pronounce the I as an I, not as an E, right? So it, it just it is just a matter of you know the area. So you can either say Italians or you can say Italians. My personal recommendation, say Italians, you know, because they know that that's how they pronounce it. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Do you guys feel confident about the life worksheet? Yes. No. Maybe. Do it. Do it. I like that. I like that. Here we go. Oh, I'm closing my eyes. Oh, my uncle bought a house that was built a hundred years ago is wrong. Oh my goodness. So what do you guys think? Let's see, let's look at the red ones and see what could we have used. Él nos dijo, él nos avisó y no le hicimos caso. All right. 
the flight that my friend took was very slow. That did not work, but we used one before and we changed it. What did we use before and we changed it? Which? 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 Do, you guys, yeah. do you guys think that which is the correct one? Could no. be. <laughs> All right, so let me see. Three, five, seven, nine, and 11. All right, remember that, remember that, guys. Let's see. All right, so we said here, we're gonna swap it out for which. All right, number five was also wrong. She didn't like the letter. Which? Which she received. What did we use? We had used that, right? Had we used that or which? I think we used that. We used that? Okay. All right. And then I do remember that my number 11 was wrong. My uncle bought a house. We couldn't use whose, and that is wrong. So then, my uncle bought a house which was built 100 years ago. All right. What other one did we have wrong? Was it seven? Seven. Seven? The wallet. So we used that. No, we used uh, which. Which. Should we try that? Or what would you guys like to try? What do you guys think? The wallet that my son found in the street belonged to Martha. Hmm. Let's try it like that. Let's see. Oh, number five. So we didn't, so we used that and we used which. Hmm. She didn't like the letter. I thought, are you guys sure we used that? I don't remember if you had to. Terrible memory. <laughs> Terrible memory. All right, but we can leave it like that. We can leave it like that, I think. I, let me see. Let me try it. I don't know. Now I'm now I'm with that. Let me see. She didn't like the letter. I thought that she received last week. Are you guys sure we used? Who's maybe? Who's? Uh, let, let's try it. Mm -hmm. uh, she didn't like the letter. Who's no? Who's she received the last week? Mm. I don't know. No, that that didn't work out. You know, that's weird. Okay. Who? We can try with that. <laughs> we did, right? We did. Well, I thought we did that and it came out wrong. That's, we had it. Quizás le puse algo de más. It was right. I mean, we had, I, I, I thought that we had used that and it came out wrong. But I'm not sure if maybe I put an extra space and maybe that's why it came out wrong. All right, well, we got it. So remember, these are the live worksheets and these are the ones that we're gonna keep on using. You guys see that? Nice, nice, right? All right. Okay, so let's go back to the platform. Let me stop sharing. And I'm gonna go back to the platform. And let's see here. Here's the platform. And then we just kept going here. We came to the knowledge check. How did you guys do with the knowledge check on 3.10? Were you guys able to complete it? Or yeah. should, should we complete it as a team? We just did a little exercise, right? We, eh, it came out all right. I think it gives us a little bit of a heads up on what's coming up next. I think we can do better with this one. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. 
we are going to use who, right? Um, the relative clauses that we just saw, you have to write one whole sentence. Remember that you may use who or that for people or which or that for things. And then so the example, who is Ang Lee? And then the answer is he's a movie director. He made the film Hulk. He's a director who made the film Hulk. So either one of those is acceptable. He's a movie director that made the film Hulk. Uh -huh. That's another one. Y luego te dice otra vez, right? So then you see it all over again. And then we start with number one. Who is Ang Lee? He is, he's a movie director. And then the second portion is he made the film Hulk. What can we put here? He's a movie director who made the film Hulk. Who made the film Hulk. Okay. All right. I think we have to write the complete sentence. Everything? Oh my goodness. Let's see. Does it say that we have to put the dots and the apostrophes or anything like that? Let me see. Yeah. yeah. Unir, yeah. I'm sorry about that, guys. Yes. My reading comprehension. No. Who is Ang Lee, right? Who is Ang? No teacher. No. Only his. His ah, I see what you're saying. He's a movie director he's who a he's a he's a movie director. Yes. Who made, made the film? Yes. And Un put the punto, eh? punto. Si no la regamos, va. Thank you. A ver, a ver, crossing fingers, guys. Crossing fingers. Ayúdenme, ayúdenme. Todas uh malas. -huh. Hey, we got it right. All right. Good for you guys. All right. I like that. Wow. Well, me siento, me, me siento pu puro el Mr. Miyagi de Karate Kid. Uh -huh. All right. Have you heard of Pirates of the Caribbean? And then so, yes. It's an action movie. Uh-huh. That. That. Star. Johnny Depp. Johnny. Y punto, ¿verdad? A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Oh, ¿cómo es? Para arriba, para abajo, para arriba. All right. <laughs> What's Chicago? <laughs> it's. El teacher, hasta el teacher, mira, hasta el teacher, ve. It's. Hola, hola. Como él, y él tenía la razón, él estaba de decirnos que no, que no pusiéramos eso, ¿verdad? Y decía, no, no pongan eso. It's a musical. What did I what did I get wrong? It's I think I put it in the wrong spot, sorry. It's a musical about a girl. About a girl. Mm -hmm. Who? Who? Be who became a cel <clears throat> a celebrity. T. Let's see. A ver, a ver, a ver. No, oh, something. Did I miss something? I missed this. I missed the dot. I think. Okay. Let's see. Let's try with the dot. There it is. All right. So now this one, you, it doesn't change. Uh, you can leave it. She becomes. Now you could say became. It, but, but you wouldn't be using the S. So, so whenever you guys see the S, 
Uh, see, when you guys see the S, it becomes. It's a right teacher, thank you. Okay. Okay, now number four. Did you enjoy John Grisham's latest novel? I think I only read one or two maybe. Yes. Yes. It was a, a great book. book. Which was hard to put down. Which was hard to put down. Dot. Let's not forget the dots. All right. All right. Muy buen trabajo. Muy buen trabajo, Daniel San. Muy buen trabajo. How many of you guys have been watching the new series, uh, Cobra Kai? Yeah, me. Have you guys? You guys? Okay. All right. Do you yeah. like it? Yes, I, I already I uh, saw the, the season, season three, but... All right, I you know I think I think I like it because I am from that era where you know it, it feels like yeah you know, it feels very close to home. All right, everybody, great job, well done on knowledge check three point three point ten. Okay, um, we didn't get a chance. Yeah, Paco, oh, is that Paco or Guille? Yeah, it's no, for me, teacher. Paco, yeah. Okay, after Guy, go ahead, Guy. Uh, no, I, I just got, ha, have a question uh, mm -hmm. about for the second one, and I, I think, no, for the third one, let me see. No, the second one, uh -huh. when it says, um, uh, yes, it's an action movie that stars Johnny Depp, um, it means that he plays that, that movie? It means that he plays the leading role. He is the star of the movie. Oh, okay, I understand, thank you. So yeah, so when, whenever you see it like that, whenever you see like somebody talking about a movie or a show or a musical, and they say the star, that usually means the leading role. Or the most the important character. role, the main character. Yes, sir. Yes, Guilla. Okay, thank you. All right, Paco. Yes, uh, I have a question. I don't yes. know why it couldn't have said in my platform when I wrote, yes, it's an action movie that stars Johnny Depp. I wrote it the way you did it. Okay. But I don't know why it doesn't work for me in my platform. Don't worry, don't worry about it, Paco. Uh, what happens, what happens is, ya ves que everybody disagrees. You are correct. What happens is the platform sometimes doesn't work. And so what you can do is at the, at the same time that you did it, turn it off and turn it back on, or you can leave it as is and then move along to another place and then eventually it will it will fix it will fix by itself if oh, it's okay. correct um but so let me tell you this the platform is so sensitive that if you have like an extra space or for example you don't have a space look it it'll give it to me wrong okay. so so double check on the spaces double check on the apostrophes as well because if you don't add the apostrophes, it will also give you an error. So check the spaces, check the apostrophes, and also check the dot. Um, Nesty, Nesty knew right away that if I didn't put the, the dot, it was gonna give me an error as well. So double check on that too, because look, it gave it I to found, me. I found out already, that was a, a, a space. Oh my God. We got it. Don't, don't worry, Paco. It, it, the, it goes crazy like that sometimes. A ver, Mario, Mario. A ver. Sir, yes. I have a question, but it's not about this class. Okay. Uh, you have already had the, uh, the link uh, and the, cl the class of the passive, of the passive boy, because I am having a lot of problems with that. And I'm trying to do the, the, the platform right now. And so I want to try to 
I want to see them this class that class again to understand that. Oh, for the passive, yeah. And and Mario, I'm 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 glad you brought that up. There is a big there's a big <laughs> section on the midterm exam, and the whole section is about passive and it is about active. So what they ask you to do is they ask you to turn the active uh, phrases into passive phrases, and then they ask you to turn the passive phrases into active phrases. I, it, it's, it's all over the place with the passive, uh, passive voice. So yeah. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, Mario. Yes, I can help you with that. Can you do me a favor? Can you, can you send me a dot? <laughs> can you send me a dot in WhatsApp? And I'll send okay. you the link to the class. Okay, teacher. All right. Thanks. Good, good. Okay. Um, like I told you guys before, we were going to try to incorporate also the break rooms. But as you guys can see, we already we already used up our time. Um, what we're going to do is for tomorrow, as a welcome introduction, we're going to use the break rooms, okay? And then I'll tell you guys uh, what we're going to be doing. Uh, so hopefully everybody gets here at, at around eight so that we can go into the break rooms right away and then we continue with the class after the break rooms. All right, ladies and gentlemen, les regreso dos minutos. Pues si ustedes saben, el teacher, ¿verdad? Siempre, o sea, ah, se, eh, pues sí. Okay, buena gente, el teacher. Eh, muchísimas gracias. Thank you for coming in today. Uh, did you guys like the activities? Yes. All right, good, good, good. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Remember, we're going to try to incorporate more and more and more. And also the role plays are still missing. So, ladies and gentlemen, see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right. Have a good night. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, good night.